What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Major21, with another video. Before we get into the intro and everything, I had to change the intro because I had some issues with the music, but hey, we're good now, so uh, let's get to the intro. Much of a huge difference. The music is different, though, so that's always cool. But we're not here for that. We're here for the haul for the week. And let me show you what I picked up. You already saw the two Batman uh, pops earlier what, Sunday. And you saw um, the Marvel Legends I picked up. And I do have my New York Comic Con pops on the way. So I had to get everything online so that everything is in transit. So when I get those in, in uh, hand, you'll be all, I'll, I'll show you all of them. So be on the lookout for that coming soon. I know I should be getting some this week. I think, I think everything should be in my mind next Monday. So we'll get on that. But let's get to the haul of the week and uh, let's start out with first some comics that I picked up. Got this cool uh, Power Rangers comic. The one of it is nice. It's the Red Ranger with the dragon shield on. Really, really cool. I also picked up this uh, Captain, I mean Captain America: The Falcon and Winter Soldier comic. Pretty cool, and it have the, the tribute to Chadwick Boseman on the end front and the back. Um, his, I've been really trying to get into these Invincible ones from Image Comics. I do like them a lot. We have uh, Invincible number 57, number 36, and number 52. Uh, These really cool covers, and uh, this is a really good story. I've read some of it, I haven't read all of it, but uh, I'm trying to get some of the comics in hand. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But that's all I have for the comics this week. There's five comics, uh, pretty cool though. And I also picked up these two figures from Walmart, had them on sale, so I can pass up on these two Rick and Morty Funko figures. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'll be doing a review on these two uh, coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. And now let's get to the pops. And I did pick up quite a bit of pops. So first up, we'll start off with the uh, 65th anniversary of the Disney, I mean, Disneyland 65th anniversary Mickey Mouse on the Casey Jr. A uh, pretty cool pop. I don't really gonna play uh, Disney, so I don't know if I'll be keeping this in there, but we'll just see how it goes. Also, I picked up the I can pull it out. Pause. I also picked up the Glowing Dark Jean Grey. A uh, really cool pop. I don't know if I showed you guys this one yet, but I picked this up from Target Con uh, also. Pretty nice, pretty cool. I do like this a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna jump into the whole uh, movie line. I do have this one and the SDCC uh, Nightcrawler. So that's onto a half minute third wave. Also, we picked up the pink um, Batman. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Celebrating, I mean, not celebrating, but uh, with the breast cancer relief fund, uh, really nice, really cool. To go with that, also, actually, this pen I got from Beery Pop on it, really cool, uh, breast cancer awareness pen. So, this is a really nice, nice, uh, thing to go together. I do like Beery Pop on his pens, he do have some nice ones, they sell out sometimes before I can get a chance to get them, but you know how it goes. So, I also picked up this Penny Hardaway Funko Pop. Had some damage to it, but I'm not gonna complain about it. And also I have a Penny Hardware rookie card with it. So, nice little combo thing. I told you with my sports pops, I'm trying to get cards to go with them. So this is pretty cool. I picked up the Frankenstein from um, Walgreens. Pretty nice pop. It glows in the dark as well. We're doing a review on this one. Probably close to Halloween, so we're gonna look out for that. Another pop I picked up was the Galactic, the Galactic Toys exclusive Midnight. Finally got this guy, got it for, I mean this girl, <laughs> got it for 15 bucks from Time Warp Collectibles. Uh, I missed it, and I just, I just, I guess it really went on my way, radar to pick up right, right away. I saw it, and I just went ahead and got it. Another one, yeah, I thought it was a pretty big haul. <laughs> I also picked up, finally, the SDCC exclusive Ron with Baxter from Anchorman. I missed all the Anchorman pop, it was always on the Funko shop, so I'm glad to get this guy in hand, finally. Pretty cool. And, uh, GameStop restart some pops I missed. The 6 inch Obelix and Tormentor. Let's finally get this in hand. Really, really nice. I'll definitely be doing reviews for soon. As well as the 6 inch, six inch Shishomaru as Demon Dog. I saw these in store. I had to get these. I had to get them. I'll be doing reviews for this one soon as well. And last but not least, we picked up the Naruto Ramen Box. I'll be opening this one up right 
now, so you'll be seeing this in the next video. So just be on the lookout for it. Uh, it's pretty cool. So it's pretty much all I have for you today. So a lot of stuff I picked up, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of stuff that I initially missed. And like I said, my New York Comic Con stuff is on the in transit. So when it gets here, I'll make sure to let you guys see it. So make sure you hit that like button, comment below, let me know which one of these things that you like the most. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so every time I drop a video. This is Mace21. Peace. I'll see y'all later.